Let's look at pages 19 through 22, and there's a problem you're going to have to solve on page S. And I'm glad you joined us. <clears throat> maybe I'm helping prevent a problem before you encounter it, or maybe you tried to do this problem, you went to score, and you said, wait a minute, I don't think the score key is right. Good for you, the score key is actually wrong. Ha ha! And I'm going to explain why. So, on page 30, yeah, page S, problem 39, I'm going to show you why the score key is wrong. All right, so stick with me here. Let's talk about what the pace calls equivalence. Basically, if we have one mole of hydrochloric acid, HCl, and you put it, you know, you dissolve it in water, one mole of HCl will produce one mole of hydrogen. Okay, it makes sense because you only have one hydrogen per molecule, so you'd have one mole. So, uh, but look at this, H2SO4, if we put that into, re into a reaction and it completely reacted, okay, so whatever it's combining with, the SO4 separates and combines with um, the other, what would that be, um, positive ion, cation. And uh, both of these hydrogens separate and combine with the bases. Then notice we actually have two, <coughs> two moles of hydrogen for every one mole of H2SO4. So we call that two equivalents for every one mole of this acid. We have the equivalent of two moles of hydrogen, okay? What that means is, we would take, the shortcut is, <clears throat> if this number is a two, then if one mole of H2SO4 is 98 grams per mole, then we really only need half of that, okay? So you take 98 divided by two, so 45, 49 uh, grams would be the, what would be a, in a, uh, I'm not sure to say this correctly here, would be one equivalent, okay? If we had 49 grams of this, it would produce one mole of the hydrogen, okay? So we would call that one equivalent. H3PO4, notice that, when it completely reacts in a reaction, it gives off three hydrogens. This is a pretty strong, okay? Call it a triprotic. This is di, um, di product, triprotic. So it gives off three protons, three hydrogens. And so the equivalent means <clears throat> if I had divided by three, so you take this and divide by how many hydrogens it produces when it's in a reaction. 99, so I only need 33 grams of H3PO4 to get one mole of hydrogen, okay? Now the same thing can happen when we're dealing with bases. So notice um, this base, well, let me show you this one. This one only has one hydroxide ion, okay? So when it dissolves, it produces one mole. One mole of NaOH produces one mole of hydroxide, okay? But if I have calcium hydroxide and I dissolve that, then in solution I have one mole of calcium, but I end up with two moles of hydroxide, okay? So if I have 74 grams, which is one mole of calcium hydroxide, and I dissolve it, I actually have twice. I have two times, two equivalents, okay? So if I only want one equivalent, then I actually have to take this, and because this is a two, I'm gonna divide this by two. So 37 grams would give me one equivalent of the base. All right, now let's talk about this reaction here. And actually at the top of page 22, they take this very reaction and they show all the steps for this same reaction. But then when they do the, when you're supposed to do it on page S number 37, 39, they come up with a different answer in the score key. But the answer in the score key is wrong. What they have on page 30, on page 22 at the top is correct. So let's talk about why that is, all right? H2SO4, now up here I said, we could have two equivalents from that, 
if it completely reacted, but notice what's happening in this reaction. I have one <clears throat> equivalent of OH. And then in the, what happens over here is, notice I still have HSO4, not just SO4, HSO4, which means only one of these hydrogens is actually going into this reaction. And the other hydrogen is staying bonded to the SO4. So when I have a full mole of H2SO4, instead of it producing <coughs> two moles of hydrogen for the reaction, it's only producing one mole to combine with the NaOH. Does that sound confusing? Okay. <laughs> Let's think about it this way. If I did H2SO4 and combined it with CaOOH, the two hydrogens would probably combine with the two OHs and I would have two moles of water and then the calcium would combine with the SO4. But here, even though this potentially could give off two moles of hydrogen, it appears from this reaction that only one hydrogen is being donated, okay? That one hydrogen is combining with the OH to produce H2O. The other hydrogen is kind of like stuck. It says, I don't want to leave. I want to stay with SO4. He's my friend. <laughs> so the HSO4 stays together as an anion base, okay, and combines with this sodium. So for this reaction to take place, I actually need one entire mole of the H2SO4, not a half a mole, an entire mole of this to combine with one mole of this to produce one mole of this and one mole of this. So actually, I think that's one of your questions here on page S37. It says, according to this reaction, how many moles of each reactant and product are produced? That's the coefficients, one, 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 one. So it's just one of each, okay? That's pretty simple. Find the equivalent mass of NaOH. Well, just use your periodic table to figure out what the mass is of sodium, of oxygen, of hydrogen, add them together. That's how many grams are in one mole. And I only have one. So the equivalent is the same as the mass of one, you know, the molar mass, okay? But here's where it gets tricky and where the score key is wrong. It says, find the equivalent mass of H2SO4 in the same reaction. Now, at first glance, you may think, oh, I need to take H2SO4, 98 grams per mole, divide by two and get 49. And that's what the score key says, but it's not correct. Because if you look at the top of page 22, it shows exactly this same reaction that we're talking about here. And it talks about the H2SO4 and explaining that sometimes, as it talks about down here at the bottom of page 21, sometimes we need to dissolve the whole mole, one mole of this, in order to produce this. And so the answer is going to be, just as they show up here, the 98.07. So you, you need to follow the example at the top of page 22 to answer the question 39 here on page S. And then you need to explain to your supervisor, maybe they haven't figured this out yet um, in the score key, but they need to change their score key <coughs> and uh, show that it's not the half of this, the 30, wherever it is, 49 grams, but it should be the entire 98 grams, okay? I hope that helps you and, and not confuse you. And that's, that's the easy part of titration. We're just laying the groundwork. We're getting ready for the fun stuff, which is coming up next.